Good morning, Algebra 2. Good to see you. I'm going to be trying something a little bit different on this Wednesday. I'm going to be working with some people in a small group right at the beginning of class. So go check your email. If you got an email from me, that means I want to see you. All right. So then come to the meet and ignore this for now. Um, if you didn't get this email, I'm going to walk through a couple of those homework problems and hopefully answer a couple questions. And if you do have questions, you know, last half of class, come see me. We can work together in a small group as well. All right. Okay. Uh, just remember, if you see an email from me, come see me. Otherwise, go mark the attendance question. Keep watching. All right. So on Monday, we talked about function operations. You can add two functions. You can subtract them. You can even multiply them or divide them. Dividing them is kind of lame, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> anyway. So for this first one, I think you'll be able to add and subtract those two functions that are given. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 14. Again, just checking to see if you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide those functions. Uh, this number 16 is very similar to the one that we did in the video for notes. So you may want to go check that one out because it's almost word for word process and step by process and step. <laughs> But I do want to talk about number four, just to get you started, because I know it's a longer problem. It's a little bit of a longer assignment. I was anticipating some questions on it. So I'm going to read through it real quick. Sirius turns on the bathtub spout to warm up the water already in the tub. The amount of water in gallons in the tub, X amount of minutes after turning on the spout, if no other water enters or leaves, is modeled by this function. That was a lot of words. Basically, it's just saying that when you turn on the tap, this function, 2.4x plus 15, is going to model how much water is in it. So maybe there was already 15 gallons, and then every minute that passes that the spout is left turned on with that warm water, you add 2.4 gallons, right? That's kind of what that function, what that entire sentence was saying. When Sirius turns on the spout, however, Stupidly, he accidentally opens up the drain, which drains 3.1 gallons per minute from the tub. We're going to figure out how much water is in the tub after 10 minutes, but we're going to need some function operations. We already have one for how much water is going in the tub, right? Maybe we start off with the 15 gallons and then we add 2.4 gallons per minute. Let's find a function, we'll call it G, that models how much water is draining per minute, right? And you're gonna do most of this yourself. I'm just stepping it through. So G of X, how much is being drained per minute? Similar to how we set up this first one that was given, 2.4 gallons per minute, 2.4 times X. So if you're draining 3.1 times X, now the question is, is it going to be a positive 3.1 or a negative 3.1? Think about that. All right, so whatever function you come up with g of x, now you have a function, right? Use a function operation. We're going to write a new function h, which is going to be some sort of operation on f and g, right? The tub filling and the tub draining. Write a new function h to model the amount of water in the tub after x minutes, after the spout is turned on and the drain is opened. So that's where we're gonna have to use f and g, right? Okay, if you're filling up the tub, but you're also draining it, what operation are you gonna use? Are you going to add those two together? Or maybe you're going to subtract the two functions, probably not multiply and probably not divide the two functions. But think about that. If you made this a negative 3.1x with your function g of x to show that it's draining, well, you're already making it a negative 3.1, right? So we're already draining that thing. You just do the 2.4x plus 15 plus negative 3.1x. Or if you made it a positive 3.1x, well, then you just need to subtract the two functions, right? So think about that. You've got a good start on it. Once you have a function h, all right? So that's a combination of the two. Then you are just going to evaluate H at 10, figure out how much water is in the tub 10 minutes later, all right? So plug in 10 into your function here. Basically it should be 
this minus 3.1x, right? Wink, wink. <laughs> you can evaluate your function at 10. Tell me how much water is in the tub. All righty. So take a second to do that. Finish up your homework for 4.1 functions operations. Let me know if you have any questions. I will be in Blackman 107 for the second half if you are all finished. All right. See you later. Don't forget to mark yourself present, please, and thank you. Bye.